All right, people. Welcome back to more DM Do commentary. So today we have Lunar. Hello. Finally, we have yeah. Lunar. <laughs> oh, I'm so, here. Well, oh, wow! What a one. surprise. <laughs> so we have uh, Chris is lame here. <laughs> Damn, poor Chris. <laughs> 1381 versus Lord Henry <laughs> with 1366. So, Cleeput versus I don't know. You guys will know before I do because it will be in the title. <laughs> Come on, reveal probably Cleeput. <laughs> Cleeput mirror match. Did Cleeput even play deep prison? Don't know. Not Does I don't anything think... even play deep prison? Lots of night beam. The return of night beam. Yeah, I know. I've seen it a lot. And MST. Oh, there goes that skill drain. Now what? Come on, man. I'm recording this to have a good duel. Oh, oh what a here, surprise. Man. Oh, wow. damn. Oh, damn. The clip put is too strong. Who would have ever Oh, my it. God. The top deck. Freaking yeah. Summoner's Art. And it's over. <laughs> Chris's lame clearly has <laughs> opened way better than Lord Henry here. But he's royalty. Yeah, jeez. You're not allowed to uh, do that. <laughs> hey, it's clay put. You can be beheaded. Yep. <laughs> oh, surprisingly, clay put have been going down in price. Maybe people are so afraid that they're going to get hit on the ban list that the deck of the price, you know. This Maybe. is like 60, yeah. now it's 40. Scout was like 30 something. I can definitely 30. see them being hit. Sacrifice is cheaper. Okay. Well, I hope you get something, Lord Henry, because you're not in the position to be playing Vanity's Emptiness right now. Yep, Hex Effect, Summer's Art Effect. Uh, I, st I still don't know their actual names now. <laughs> then then TCG names. I still call them by their OCG names. Genome and Archive. <laughs> Yeah. Um, That's what I know them as. And I still call this tool goddamn Scout. <laughs> Why they have Scout to is it? a tool. Yep. <laughs> Carrier, really? So they both got Book of Moon in an opening hand, huh? Hot number generator? Is that how it is? <laughs> Everybody get Book of Moon? Oh. I confused the living fuck out of me for a second. I literally thought that he just put his monster in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, why the fuck did you just take your monster and put it in the graveyard? Oh, right, the scale, the friend deal. You know, I don't, I still don't like how DN did it. It looks ugly still. Yeah. <laughs> it looks all cramped and uncomfortable. Tell. Chris is letting clearly thrilling, just kick Lord Henry. thrilling games these days. Yep. Thrilling. Everybody used the clip put. Oh. Who gets who gets tool first or scout or whatever it's called? Mm-hmm. If any of you guys are planning on playing competitively and picking up cards, this is a beautiful time to pick up cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Pick them up, because everything's price has literally dropped immensely. I'm thinking of actually getting a deck IRL. You know, it's, it's ridiculous, like, Shadals have went down, of, Burning Abyss, Teller Knights, everything has gone down in price. I was thinking of making a pure, uh, pure artifact deck, but Sanctums are crazy expensive still. That's surprising. I know, they're like 25 quid each. you think that Sanctums go down, but I guess everybody's like, yeah. well, if they didn't get hit on the last list, they're not going to get hit on this list, so. What the fuck? That's what he wants, he's 12 now. Oh, okay. Oh, I've actually okay. seen people cite that. That diner thing. I haven't seen that card since... <clears throat> um, Infernities. Worlds. I, I thought like it was a idea. hippo, but it's an elephant, isn't it? Yeah. I don't like the idea of him. Just because if it's only good early game. If you use it late game... I mean, I guess it's good against Cleepoid since they won't have a level 4 in the graveyard, but... Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good sign. Yeah. 
but you know, fucking telemates, like really. <laughs> her, her. <laughs> yeah, so pure That's... artifact deck. All the actual artifacts are like fifteen p each, so they're like cheap as hell. Not disc. The artifacts. Oh. I was. I was just artifacts. Well, going on well how much is Maraltak? Maraltak is still like eight quid ish. Okay. But all the other ones are fifteen p. There's Which a lot like, of night beams like, and MSTs going around in this door. It's like five cent or something. <laughs> I think picking up Sanctums or Maratex might be the riskiest thing to pick up before the ban list. Mm. I, said, I, think... I don't know, I just really like pure artifacts. Yeah. So there's a pretty good chance that, you know, Burning Abyss will get hit. There's a pretty good chance that, wow, he's, of course he has another one. There's a pretty good chance that, uh, you know, should also get hit. I'd say Cleep Putter is probably the easiest deck to pick up. They've, they've went down in price by like half, at least 30% off of their original price. And really, I doubt they're going to get their asses kicked on the ban list. Probably, like I said, probably just an indirect hit with Skill Drain will probably be the most. Oh god, please hit Skill Drain. <laughs> you don't like Skill Drain? Well, they really need to. It's ridiculous. It's not fair. Not fair. I get, it really isn't. I get it's never you, been fair. You no, know, I get that you hate floodgate cards and you hate shit that hurts the game state, like you know macro defissure and and uh, soul drain. I understand that. I'm not one of those people that are like, oh yeah, increase those cards to balance out the game. Like, no, no, they're unhealthy for the game too. But having vanities and skill drain at the, isn't healthy for the game either. So you need Konami to stop being a damn hypocrite when it comes to that. Dude, you're so gonna get skill drained or chalice. Oh, compulsive. Oh, all right. Damn. Are you gonna crash? Is there a point in crashing? This deck is disgusting. Creep <laughs> <Could you> it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really, really liked it when uh, they first revealed it. And then I realized the shit that it can do. Mm hmm. And now they're back on Daily Duels too? Ridiculous. <sighs> Don't sigh, we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get another duel in, because that was so short, fucking short, that wasn't even an episode. I might make... I really am thinking of picking up a deck in real life. I don't know what to do, though. I might do Super Heavy Samurais, they're really cheap, because they're all common. Alright, let's get another video in. Well, not a video in, another duel in. Alright, we're yeah. back. Alright, we're back. So we got Dark Dragon's Vein? With Magician's Valkyria, as you picture. Uh, you couldn't put a dragon? Whatever. <laughs> Cars okay. <laughs> Eleven forty. All right. So what deck? Is it Clee Put? Is it Clee Put? <laughs> this is Clee Put. Clee Put, Clee Put, Clee Put. One sec. Getting pretty sick of your shit. Yeah. Running a best Clee Put. They're all just so good. <laughs> this format is play that or lose. Yep. And you know why they're so good? Why are they so good? Because they float. They all do. Yeah. And that, and therefore, that means that they out-resource you. I don't know why people also, are like, oh, life points. Fuck life points. This <laughs> game is all about resources. <laughs> if I have more cards than you, I win. Yeah, exactly. If, game, if the game was about life points and not about resources, then Soul Charge would be a balanced card. But it's not. <laughs> Ooh, scraps. Scraps. Interesting. I haven't seen them in a while. I literally saw a duel where this guy played uh, Space Time Trap Hole and Soul Charge. He went, he's got his life points all the way down to 100. His life points right. His opponent's life points 8,000. He came around and turned the whole duel around and won. <laughs> That's when you find out your opponent plays Ukazi. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. Like, where's your cowboy? <laughs> Pot? Go ahead and reveal what deck. Bujin bitches. Right? Or Klee Put. It's amazing how Bujin just dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah. Like, oh my god, they're so broke. Konami keeps supporting them. Oh god, uh, how can we handle them? 
Oh. But it's just like, oh, uh. okay, that's how they handle them. Make ridiculously broken decks. Yep. That, the bitches never got hit. They just got out yeah. fast. <laughs> uh, that's a bad matchup. Oh, the power creep in this game is silly. Yep. You know what the number one deck topping in OCG is? Trains, please. No. They talk uh -huh. every once in a while, but no, not even close. What's the number one topping deck? Not close. Not close. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Obviously. know what's number two? No, what's number two? Cleepite. I'm probably going to guess that one. <laughs> ben Shadows. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I know a lot of people are saying, like, oh, oh, combine the ban list, put OCG and TCG ban list back together, but how the fuck would that work? How yeah. the fuck would that work? If we combine the list, and then OCG wants to hit Necros, but we never got Necros, yeah. then that doesn't work. And how the fuck are you gonna fucking address Burning Abyss? <laughs> may, huh? I just huh? say, <laughs> may I just say, Insectative Firefly, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I've never seen this guy. <laughs> Insector Firefly, alright. Damn, speaking of Insectors. Oh, you can look at the set guard your phone and controls, damn, so broke. Yeah. Speaking of Insectors. No more value. Hey look, there's a 25 quid card. Artifact Sanctum. It's 25 quid? Yeah, it's oh. expensive as shit. For me, it says $25 to $42. It does say that, but on a... I, I, TCG player doesn't ship to England. Oh, damn, so you have to worry about like... And even if it did, the postage would be insanely high. Wait, I'm confused. Oh yeah, and you just set that this turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't even paying attention. I, I was just... paying attention. I'm like, what do you mean he can't? I was do like, it? I was roused by how much Sanctum cost. Yeah, like he summons Morale Attack. You play Torrento, but Morale Attack will still get his effect to Poppy, which wouldn't even matter anyway because he'd die anyway. But like, what do you mean he can't? Like, of course he can play yeah. Torrento. You just summoned a monster. <laughs> like, oh, right. I forgot it was your first turn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And that's the reason why you set Main Phase 2, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there's other reasons why you set Main Phase 2, but that's one of them. Oh, damn. What? No, attack mode. No, attack. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. I like how the other guy just dismissed it as well, being in defense position. Mm -hmm. anyway. He's like, I don't give a shit. Oh, well, he didn't have another scrap monster in the graveyard, so no scrap beast. I still don't know what he's playing. I guess artifacts kind of work. Oh, damn. Stuff. This number generator ain't playing. All the sanctum. Yeah, man. See, and this is exactly how it works when I duel someone that uses artifacts. When I duel with artifacts, hell no. I draw a raw attack all fucking day. And that's the reason why I do... What do I do with my artifacts? I think I give them to one of my friends. I haven't seen that friend in forever. I'm not even sure if he still plays Yu-Gi-Oh. I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't. Yeah, so I drafted up an artifact deck. 354 pounds. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. <laughs> and that's for not even a full extra deck. Just two Pleiades, two Dura, whatever. The, <laughs> the big sword is called. The Randall, that's the one. And uh, two... I don't even remember the other one. <laughs> oh, two Volcasaurus. That was my only extra deck cards, and that's 354 quid. You shouldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know. I play Magic, and that is so much cheaper, it's ridiculous. Hey, Konami doesn't like Britain. Konami doesn't do shit right. What are you gonna do? Attack him directly? <laughs> oh damn! Poke sixteen. Yep. Might get the sword and then he can uh, poke for a little bit more. <laughs> Nigga! Where the hell is Horny? <laughs> Where are you going oh, with damn. this? Am I dealing 24 with this direct. Too oh, strong. damn. 
Well, at least the viewers get to see Insectors today. A very weird variant. Yeah. Because you bound Zectors is off now. This is actually quite a surprising match. Yeah. Zectors scraps. The matchup isn't it. good. Like, alright, sure, go ahead, destroy my cards. <laughs> Yeah, at least it's not meta, right? Scrap shark. He's not the guy who dies when something's activated. Mm -hmm. Also, I could have sore. That scrap yeah, twin can. was higher attack than that. He still gets Mantis effect? I think he does, yeah. Oh. What, what does it say? Uh. This card is sent to the graveyard when equipped to an Insector. Oh, I don't think he does. I don't right? think he does either. Because I don't remember that ever happening with Insectors. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? <laughs> I mean, we could look it up. I just don't think so. Yeah. Because, I mean, hmm, I don't know. I hope you have Horner in the hand. And be mad if you don't. You haven't played Horner all fucking duel. Like, what the fuck's going on? Now he can grab Horner. Should have done that last turn. <laughs> I think it was on top of his deck as well. <laughs> Looked like it. Giga Mantis Rulings. Da, 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 da. You're probably wondering how I'm doing this. Like, looking up the ruling. While oh, still damn. recording the screen with Kemp. You've probably got your oh. recording thing snapped to the window. Nope. I have my laptop. Oh, okay. I see. If, if, for example, hypothetically speaking, if an Insector Dragonfly equipped with Gigamantis is destroyed by battle by an opponent's monster or by the card effect of Regeki Break, it is not considered that Gigamantis was equipped to a monster when sent from the field to the graveyard, so it is so its effect cannot be activated. You cheated. Okay. <laughs> Cheating. Well, he tried to activate traps on his own turn, but the same turn he set them, so. <laughs> you know what? I can't say anything. Like, nigga, if you're going to play Insectors, play it right. What the fuck is going on? What? So he went. What? How? Equipped the dragonfly. What the fuck, fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? How is he summoning <laughs> so many centipedes? He just went. Hornet equipped the dragonfly. Uh -huh. Hornet effect. Right, unequipped pops. What? Summon one, right? How did he summon what all What is them? he doing? What is going on? Did we miss something while we were looking away? The other dude's not even calling anything. Damn, car! Damn, you know what? You're both bad. Nigga, what's your rating? 1140. Nigga! Uh, come on, what the fuck is going on? How do you summon so many monsters with fucking Dragonfly? <laughs> I, I feel like we missed something. We must have. Like, oh yeah, you didn't know Dragonfly lets you summon all the Zectors that you want from your deck. <laughs> what, what the going fuck on? is going on? This game... This game is stupid. You're both bad. You're both bad. But hey, their ratings are higher than ours on DN. This is where we get all the comments Damn! down what happened. Really? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> done. This, 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 this right here is doing we'll it. Check out below. Mm -hmm. We'll be told, uh, told how it happened. <laughs> it must, because I'm lost. I am so lost. Yeah. I have no idea what just happened. I saw a dragonfly and all of a sudden I saw centipede, centipede, <laughs> horn, yeah, hopper, like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> like, you know he that... Soul he, charge? I put, I, I, that's what I'm looking for. I'm like, did he activate soul charge? I'm like, you know dragonfly's effect is only once per turn, right? <laughs> oh, is that what he, Maybe that's what he was doing. I but what? No, because he didn't pop with the... Did he pop with the... Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. And even if it was Soul Charge, I don't see any life point paid. Yeah. Oh. And he wouldn't be able to attack. Nope. 
I'm done. This is dumb. This is this is what you get for Insectors today, since it, you Insectors is often you buying got, wine. You got a Cleepot Cleepot match, followed by a Shitty Jewelers versus Shitty Jewelers match. Yep. That's the end for you. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that you guys got a laugh at it. This guy <laughs> blatantly cheating. Just cheating all over the place, being dad all over the place, and cards letting him do it. Like, shit, you might as well let him get that Toronto then. <laughs> turn that he said, if you're just going to allow him to do shit like that, allow him to get the Giga Mantis effect, allow him to get the fucking whatever the fuck Dragonfly just did. <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, I'm lost. Great. Alright. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys got to laugh at that. So, uh, thank you, Lunar, for joining me. No problem. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with an episode of The Undo Commentary. Thanks for watching.